A heat wave is defined by three things. One, how intense the heat is. Two, how long lasting it is. And three, the location. Now, some locations may not see a heat wave if it gets up to 90 degrees. For instance, you know, down in Texas, 90 is no big deal. But up in Michigan, where I live, 90 degrees is considered a heat wave because the population is just not conditioned to that sort of heat. Actually see if you are in geostationary orbit right now. And then keep going. Uh, to, um, into June, how the weather will evolve in the future. And then we also see more... So when you do get a heat wave, what it does to the atmosphere is it makes the air expand. So when the air expands, it creates a dome, which is why you call it a heat dome when you happen to have a heat wave. So there's a big area of high pressure that's bulged outwards, forming a dome. That's all that means when you're calling it a heat dome. It's a heat wave by you know any definition you want to give. This week's heat dome is centered over Maine and New Brunswick, Canada. So that's where the most intense departure from average is going to occur. They may see their hottest temperature on record for any month of the year in some locations there. But just because you're not under the center of the dome doesn't mean you're not going to get a heat wave. It's a large area that's going to be experiencing much above average high pressure. So very intense heat wave conditions are going to extend uh, over a thousand miles away from the center of that heat dome all the way here to the Midwest.